this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to make a bootable USB system repair disk for Windows 7. You may need this if you have a netbook and don't have access to a sys CD drive. So first we'll need our USB flash drive 256 MB or higher and of course we'll need a blank CD or daemon tools if you haven't got a blank CD handy. The first things first one we need to do is go to start menu then type in repair disk or just repair and create system repair disk with our DVD or CD drive selected and a blank disk in you need to click on create disk and then let it finish this thing from there if you haven't got a blank CD just type Windows 7 repair disk ISO in Google and then click on the first link. This will take you to a page where you can download the ISO for 32 bit or 64 bit. If you go back to Google and type in Daemon Tools Lite, then click on the second link, it'll bring you to a free version of Daemon Tools which you can use to mount the ISO you just downloaded. So once that's done, you just need to go to Start Menu, then go down to All Programs, go to Accessories, and right click on Command Prompt, then run it as Administrator. From there, what we need to do is then type Disk Part in Command Prompt, and then after that, just list Disk. After that will give you a list of all the disks that you've got. You need to pay attention to the one which your flash drive is. For my PC it's disk 2. So after that just type in select disk and then the number. That will be selected. So once you've done that you just need to type clean. Give it a few seconds and then type create partition primary. After that you just need to click or type on select partition 1 and then you just need to type activate. After you've typed activate you need to type in format fs equals ntfs. This may take a while depending on the size of your flash drive so give it a few minutes. After that's done you just need to type a sign and that should be done. So then you can just type exit and close command prompt. With your system repair disk in or your CD mounted you just need to open it and then select the file in two folders from there. After that you can just drag and drop it to a removable disk, like so, and then remove. So the next time you boot your netbook or whatever with the USB plugged in, it should take you to the system repair uh, disk and portions that you usually get with the CD. The only difference is using the USB stick. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.